Well, it wouldn't be Wimbledon without a little controversy. This year, it is all about the grunts. John Berman investigates. Don't worry if you can't get to England to see Wimbledon. You can probably hear it all the way in Cleveland. Yes, this is a tennis tournament, even if it sounds like Braveheart. Wimbledon. Braveheart. Wimbledon. Braveheart. In the first round this year, Victoria Azarenka hit 95 decibels. A couple of years ago, Maria Sharapova hit 105. For the record, a blender is just 98 decibels. Azarenka says it helps her put more power in her shots. But the relatively quiet tennis great Martina Navratilova doubts that. They're making a noise as if they're lifting 200 kilos, you know, or 300 pounds, and that's not the case. The ball is not that heavy. The symphony of screeching is an annual controversy in England, with all the decorum and stiff upper lip stuff. The CEO of the All England Lawn and Tennis Club has said he would prefer to see less grunting. He worries it's a distraction for the players and a turnoff for the fans. Some have even suggested an all-out grunting ban. But come on, seriously, folks, it's not like anyone's ears are suffering permanent damage here. These are professional athletes playing how they play. And really, who are the British to complain about bad sounds when they're responsible for Spandau Ballet and Wang Chung? It should also be noted, no Brit has won Wimbledon since 1977. Now that is something to grunt about. For Good Morning America, John Berman, ABC News.